Hi guys, here is the proof for the equations for the sum and product of roots. Firstly, let's begin by letting alpha and beta be the roots to a quadratic equation. This means that we can write x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta equals zero. So here we have our roots alpha and beta. If I expand this by taking the first term multiplied by all of the second, that's that, and then the second term multiplied by everything in the second bracket, I'm just expanding my binomial expansion. I then expand these brackets and then the second set of brackets, and I get my expression. I then factorize by taking x out the front here, and then rewriting these a little bit nicely in alphabetical order. Once I've got that, I've got x squared plus x times something plus a constant on the end is equal to zero. But I know that I can also write a quadratic equation in general form. That is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. I can write any quadratic equation like that. If I divide through by a to make the equation monic, that means that the coefficient of x squared should be 1. I will get x squared plus b on a, because I've divided through by a, x plus c on a on the end, once again because I've divided through by a. 0 divided by a is just 0. So I've got two exp expressions for a quadratic. I've got my first one up here, and I've got my second one down there. Okay, they're my two. Now these two should be exactly identical. They should be exactly the same. Now we know from quadratic identities that I can equate the coefficients. So I can equate the coefficient of x squared. In this case, it's one. I can equate the coefficient of x, which I've done here. And I can equate the constant as well. On the right hand side, so on this equation over here, alpha beta equals c on a, that's complete. This equation over here, minus alpha minus beta equals b on a, we can make that look a little bit nicer. So I take out the minus one and I bring it over to the other side. And there I have my sum of roots. Remember my roots were alpha and beta, sum means plus, so my sum of roots is equivalent to minus b on a. My product of roots, so alpha multiplied by beta, is equal to c on a. And there you go, that's the proof for uh, these two equations.